Hey guys, welcome to the part two, the second video. And in this video, we will uh, create tables in the database. So we have two tables. The first one is called canvas. The second one is called color data. In the canvas table, we only have one field, which is a uh, primary key, which is called canvas ID. And then over here in the color data table, we have five fields. The first one is the primary key of the color data. The second one is the color uh, row index. The third one is column index. The fourth one is the hex value, which is the color value. And the last one is the foreign key of canvas uh, of the canvas table. These two tables have a one-to-many relationship. So one canvas, uh, one entry in the canvas table corresponds to multiple entries in the color data table. This is not a full schema that we'll be using for this project. So this is a partial schema. Uh, we will be extending this schema later on in the videos if you keep watching. And that's it. So let's jump into Visual Studio's code and start coding. So let's go to our Visual Studios and now we'll be editing the models folder over here. So let's create a file, a class. Click on add and click on class over here. And then we will call this class canvas and press enter and then we will first create a primary key so if you remember we only have one entry in this canvas table so we'll only generate one property over here so prop press tab and it will automatically do that and that will be an integer and we'll call it canvas ID Sweet. So, and we need to specify that it's required because it's primary. It's a primary key. Then we need to specify that it's a key. And then we need to tell the database that we want uh, it to automatically generate this field for us. So, database uh, generated options dot identity. So every time we uh, add a new row in this table it will automatically generate a unique uh, key for this uh, property so every single row will have a unique canvas ID and that's what we want so that's it for the canvas table now we will make another class over here and we'll call it color data .ts. And then let's go back to our schema. So as I said before, this one has five um, fields. Then first we will need to, first we will create a primary key. So prop, then press tab tab, and then int color data ID. Then we need to specify it's required. Then we will specify that it's a primary key. Then we need to tell the database that it needs to automatically generate this field. So data generated database options dot identity. And then the second field would be uh, prop int row row ID row index and then prop int column index the next one would be prop uh, string uh, hex and the last one will be the uh, the foreign key so int canvas ID Then we need to specify that all these fields are required. Required. Let me just copy this. And all of them are required. So the row index um, will store the row index of the canvas. So the horizontal one are the row index. 
and the column column index will store the column index of a canvas so the the vertical ones are the columns and using these two we can uh, tell which cell has been updated and the hex um, field over here will store the hex value of a cell and the canvas uh, ID over here just tells which canvas this uh, row in color data table belongs to so that's it and then in the later videos we'll extend this schema and we will include a historical table so we can store the historic history of all the um, canvases so let's say if we if we update the canvas and then um, if we update the canvas and there will be a uh, in the front end there will be a separate section we will create a separate page where we can see the history of each canvas so that's awesome I forgot to add something to my canvas table so we also need to say uh, I collection color data and we'll call it uh, we'll call it color data click on that color data so yeah this will make a one to many relationship between the canvas table and the color data table now uh, we need to add these two classes to our app da app database.cs class so let's open app database.cs class and over here we need to say uh, public db set specify the name that will be uh, canvas and so this is the name of the class that we just created over here and then we'll specify the name of the table and that will be just canvas and then get set uh, and then we need to do the same for the second table so I'm just going to use the shortcut this time db set and then color data so this is the name of the class and this over here is the name of the table so I'm just going to call it color data as well and then press save then what we need to do is we need to create a migration so what we will do is we will type in um, add migration and just press tab this will auto complete this for us and then we'll need to uh, type in the name of this migration so I'm just going to call it initial migration so yep so that's done uh, initial migration press enter and then this will build a migration folder over here as you can see it just made this migration folder and then we need to update the database so we'll type update and just press tab and this will auto complete this for us and just press enter this will update the database on Azure for us So yep, it says done. So now let's go back to Azure and click on Query Editor and then just enter your password over here. And then let's look in the tables. Click on this drop down. As you can see, we have a canvas table over here, which only has one field, which is uh, canvas ID. And in the color data table, we have five fields. The first one is color data ID, second one is row ID, column ID, hex, and canvas ID. So yeah, so that's it for this video. And in the next video, we will create some controllers and a periodic job. Sweet, I'll see you then.